What I'm about to share with you will help you make a decision on which asset class to invest in, property or stock and shares. Hey guys, it's Rahim. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, smash the subscribe button because I talk about property investment, personal development, and how to gain financial freedom. In today's video, we're gonna discuss four factors to determine which asset class will generate you higher return for you as an investor. We're going to talk about the historic performance, income generation, liquidity, and diversification for both shares and property. And I'm gonna summarize what my thoughts and my conclusions are. Let's get to it. Let's start with historic performance. Looking back between 1900 to 2012, putting your money into stock market give you an average profit of just 5.2% once you've taken inflation into account. But if you put your cash into property, you could have seen it grow by whopping 365% over the past 70 years, plus the money you would have made from renting the property. And when it comes to property, it gives you that steady, pretty recurring income, while stock prices can jump up and down. Basically, when it comes to property, if, you're, if your grandfather would have bought property 70 years ago for 10,000 pounds, it would have worth 365,000 pounds in today's money. That percentage literally blew my mind away. Unbelievable. Let's move on income generation. When you compare, Sticking your money in the, into stock or houses both can give you a bit of an extra cash. Obviously stock through dividend and houses through rent. Right now houses are ahead in the earning game, offering about 4.75% return compared to the FTSE 100 average dividend yield of 3.62%. You see when it comes to property, the rent you would have collected would have gone up over time as a result of interest rate and inflation, and obviously rent going up. When it comes to stock, it depends how well that specific company or group of company performs over time. So basically you're not sure of what your return on investment is as it depends on someone else's decision. Oh, how about liquidity? You see, when it comes to share, it's generally liquid than property, meaning you can buy and sell shares more quickly, you can realize the money straight away, while selling property could take longer. Hence the reason most people that buy properties, they're buying it to invest in it for a long term, for capital appreciation and a steady return on their investment. Overall, liquidity of shares and property funds depend on the market condition and the demand during that specific time you're taking action about your investment. And finally, we need to talk about diversification. Mixing up your investment between stock and houses can be a smart move because it spread out your risks. Stock and house prices don't always go down or up at the same time. So having a bit of both balances your investment portfolio. And then obviously, if you've got properties in different places, it can help you have a stable property investment portfolio. So if the, if, the, if the economy takes a turn, you've got properties in various areas that would help you stable your income. And that way also you're not putting your eggs in one basket. In essence, you are setting yourself up in, for a better for whatever the economic weather or condition is. So look, to conclude, over time, investing in property has often given people higher and greater return on their, on their, on their investment compared to other options. It is not just about making more money. Properties can also offer a steady income, help, help spread your investment risk around, and protect your cash from, from rising inflation because obviously having properties allows you to hedge against, against inflation, it allows you to hedge against interest rate, it also allows you to make steady recurring income no matter what the economic climate is. Obviously before you start your property in investment journey, I advise you to find someone, a coach or a mentor who can guide you along the way to minimize the risk and pitfall you may face by doing it alone. So look, I'm not saying do not invest in the stock market, and also, I'm not saying just invest in property. What I'm saying is basically, if, you, if you're starting your property investment journey now, perhaps you want to start with property because that gives you lower risk, steady return on investment, and also it gives you better capital appreciation. Once you've got a couple of properties or so, you can then maybe diversify looking at the stock market and see how you can take advantage of it. 
So that then would help you diversify your portfolio and makes your portfolio gives you better return on your investment. But for me, when I started, I did not diversify my portfolio. I went to property, stick to it until I started making serious return on an, on an investment. And then I start thinking about alternative options that would help me minimize my exposure in the property industry. I really hope this video has been helpful. If this video has been helpful, smash the like button below, subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos. I look forward to sharing the next one.